Hello friends, my name is Amasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is SOAP or Simple Object Access Protocol. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology and you want to learn about it. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friends, SOAP or Simple Object Access Protocol is a message protocol that allows distributed elements of an application to communicate. SOAP can be carried over a variety of lower level protocols including the web related hypertext transfer protocol HTTP. SOAP defines a header structure that identifies the actions that various SOAP nodes are expected to take on the message in addition to a payload structure for carrying information. The concept of routing a message through a string of nodes that perform different functions is how SOAP supports things like addressing security and format independence. Essentially, the headers identify roles which in turn provide the SQF feature uh, SOAP uh, then routes to. Stringing message through a sequence of steps is uncommon in today's microservice centric development environments. SOAP advantages and disadvantages. Friends, SOAP is an integral part of the service oriented structure SOA and the web service specifications associated with SOA. Because it allows the sender to create a message route based on the logical services that have to be applied to the message on the way to its destination. It lends itself to providing secure and compliant connections, controlling access, offering reliable delivery and failure recovery, and supporting dynamic service discovery. SOA without SOAP is difficult to imagine. SOAP's messages are defined at a higher level in XML, but most SOAP applications use Web Services Definitions Language WSDL, which is uh, uh, authored in XML. The XML structure of SOAP makes it handy for applications that expect their information to be provided in XML form and the fact that SOAP can ride on a variety of network protocols, including HTTP, means it's easily passed through firewalls where other protocols might require special accommodation. The data structure of SOAP is based on XML, which is similar in many ways to the HTML used to define web pages. Like HTML, XLM is largely human readable, which makes it fairly easy to understand a SOAP message, but also makes the message relatively large in comparison to the common object request broker architecture CORBA and its remote procedure call RPC protocol that will accommodate binary data. The biggest disadvantage of SOAP and SOA overall is that it's heavyweight protocol for a heavyweight architecture. The notion of a message passing through a string of nodes to be processed by each seems to mix protocols and service bus architectural models for software and neither of those two are considered optimal for microservice based development as popularly used today. SOAP APIs. SOAP is a protocol that's almost always used in the context of a web services SOA framework. As such, its application programming interface is typically hidden by the higher level interface for SOA. There are SOA API middleware tools available for nearly all modern programming languages and Microsoft offers a variety of .NET SOAP SOA tools. Now the comparison of SOAP with the REST APIs. Friend, SOAP is designed to break traditional uh, monolithic applications down uh, into a multi-component distributed form without losing security and control. In contrast, REST is a model of distributed computing interaction based on the HTTP protocol and the way that web service supports client. REST over uh, HTTP is almost always the basis for modern microservices development and communication. RESTful APIs uses HTTP request to get, put, post and delete data. REST slash HTTP is simple, flexible 
lightweight and offers little beyond a way of exchanging information. SOAP can ride on HTTP as well, but it con connects the elements of a complex set of distributed commuting tools, the web services and SOA framework as well as application components and this forms a part of a total service oriented framework. Now the future of a simple object access protocol, SOAP was the first widely used protocol for connecting web services in a service oriented architecture SOA. Today nearly all modern development of distributed applications is based on RESTful principles. SOAP is almost always confined to legacy applications and projects and over time its use is declining. SOAP is an XML based protocol for accessing web services over HTTP. It has some specification which could be used across all applications. SOAP is known as the simple object access protocol but in later times was just shortened to SOAP version 1.2. SOAP is a protocol or in other words is a definition of how web services talk to each other or talk to client applications that invoke them. SOAP was developed as an intermediate language so that applications built on various programming languages could talk easily to each other and avoid the extreme development effort. In today's world, there is a huge number of applications which are built on different programming languages. For example, there could be a web application designed in Java, another in .NET and another in PHP. Exchanging data between applications is crucial in today's network world, but data exchange between these heterogeneous applications will be, uh, would be complex. So will be the complexity of the code to accomplish this data exchange. One of the methods used to combat this complexity is to use XML extensible markup language as the intermediate language for exchanging data between applications. Every programming language can understand the XML markup language, hence XML was used as the underlying medium for data exchange. But there are no standard specifications on use of XML across all programming languages for data exchange that is where SOAP software comes in. SOAP was designed to work with XML over HTTP and have some sort of specifications which could be used across all applications. Uh, SOAP is the protocol used for data interchange between applications and uh, like when developing SOAP based web services, you need to have some of languages which can be used for web services to talk with client applications. SOAP is the perfect medium which was developed in order to achieve this purpose. This protocol is also recommended by the W3C consortium which is the governing body for all the web standard. SOAP is a lightweight protocol that is used for data interchange between applications. Note the keyword light since SOAP programming is based on the XML language which itself is a lightweight data interchange language hence SOAP as a protocol that also falls in the same category. SOAP is designed to be uh, platform independent and is also designed to be operating system independent so the SOAP protocol can work any programming language based applications on both Windows and Linux platform. It works on the HTTP protocol, SOAP works on the HTTP protocol which is the default protocol used by all web applications, hence there is no sort of customization which is required to run the web services built on the SOAP protocol to work on the world wide web. So friend, uh, thank you, thanks a lot for watching the video, I hope uh, you like this video, if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.